All right, in today's video, we're going to be putting some lights on the truck. Now, you may remember from my other videos that I've worked with 4x4truckleds.com before, and I've absolutely loved their products. And honestly, this is no different, but I figured rather than just talk about it, let's actually show you the Intel process. As simple as it is, I'll go over some important points and get it so that you have your diode dynamic lights on your Ford Lightning. All right, so a couple things to mention before we get started. Uh, this is a plug and play kit. As long as you have the seven pin trailer connection behind the bumper, so you don't lose function of your trailer connection, uh, which of course is gonna be very important for those that are towing. 4x4truckleds.com sells these in one inch, two inch, and three inch pods with a variety of brightness options. So definitely go ahead and click that link in the description and see which kit works best for you. Uh, when you are placing your order, make sure that you use the coupon code CODER10 for 10% off. One thing you'll notice here is that it has a red backlight, which is activated when your indicator and headlights are on. You can disable this if you want by unplugging the backlight wire on the back of the harness or upon request before ordering from 4x4truckleds.com, make that request and they can do it for you. And finally, as you can see here, the bracket is height adjustable, so you can place them anywhere you want on the back of your truck. Make sure you, you can make them as tight to the bumper as you want. All right, so here's the kit that you get. Uh, the addition from 4x4truckleds.com is these brackets as well as this hardware here. And basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna hook up these small brackets to the lights using this hardware right here. And then we're gonna attach the larger brackets. So let me show you how that looks. Here's how the mounting is going to look once it's attached to the, um, the light. And then of course this tall bracket will be attached to the truck. So to make it easier, you wanna go ahead and attach these two brackets together before you affix them to the light. Keep everything loose so that you can adjust it as needed. All right, so there you go. That's all attached. Like I said, you're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. Uh, next step is to actually attach this to the vehicle and then run the harness, uh, which I'm going to show you now. All right, so here we are into the truck, as you can probably have guessed. The plug that you're going to unplug is this one right here. And then you go ahead and plug that harness, which I'll show right now, and then that is everything for wiring. So you basically you unplug that, plug the new harness, plug that into the harness, and then you have two leads to go to your lights. What you're gonna go ahead and do is use a pick or something. You go ahead and depress that center piece of gray and you end up pulling off this retaining clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and be right back. All right, and here's that plastic retaining clip. Go ahead and obviously keep this close by because you're gonna be putting it back on. Then the next step is you're gonna push on this back piece of plastic and your connector is going to pop off and there you go. So obviously the next step is going to be installing the new harness. So let's go ahead and do that. So I think this part is pretty self-explanatory. We're going to go ahead and grab this portion of the harness and plug it into this connector. And then you're going to plug this portion into the truck. Now we have our harness. We have this plugged back in here, as you can see. For mounting the lights, you have a couple of options. You could use this screw here or this bolt here, or you could use this one here. I think I want them kind of more out towards the edges, so I'm gonna use this one here. Uh, so you just need half inch with a socket and take this guy off. What's nice about this kit is once you have this mounted, you can determine the height. So basically this bracket, you have this all this different range of motion, you can figure out where you want it. Uh, for me, I think I want it tighter up to the truck, but you may want it down lower, you can do that. All right, now the light is all secured up here and tightened here. Go ahead and take your wiring harness, which we previously plugged in. Grab the shortest end and you're gonna plug it into this light. And then of course the longer one goes to the other side of the truck. All right, now the other side is wired up. So let's go ahead and grab the key and test this out. All right, so here's the vehicle when it's in park. Go ahead and throw it in drive. This is what you'll see when you're in drive, or rather what people behind you will see. Go ahead and throw in reverse. That's what you'll see in reverse. And ignore the, ding, the, the dinging, obviously. But you can see that these things are nice and bright. Uh, obviously, you're gonna use those zip ties and go ahead and tidy this up. But at this point, this installation is complete. Make sure that your lights are where you want them. And let me go ahead and come back here a little bit to show you. It just adds a nice little effect on the bottom and it's functional uh, for when you're reversing. It's gonna obviously give the camera a brighter view of the ground. So there you go, the installation is complete. Go ahead and use the code CODER10 to get 10% off this purchase. And the link is in the description so you can go ahead and pick up a pair of these yourself. If you have any questions or concerns on the installation, anything of that sort, go ahead and leave a comment below. As always, appreciate you guys checking out these videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.